so I must be one of the few people on this earth who actually thought Iron Fist Season 1 was decent and not horrible like some people want you to think. I actually like Iron Fist better than Luke Cage. Actually, I still haven't finished Luke Cage Season 1, so yeah. Anyways, Iron Fist Season 2 is the topic here, so let's stay focused. Let's start with what I thought worked the best. In Iron Fist Season 1, I couldn't really buy Finn Jones as a martial artist. He was not convincing. Here, however, I thought the fight choreography was pretty good. And because of that, they were able to hide some of Finn Jones' weaknesses as a non-art martial artist who pretends to be one. The character of Danny Rand is also better. He's more likable, a bit less whiny, at least for the most part. I also thought he had a better arc this season. It was pretty much about him trying to find himself. Actually, that's pretty much the theme this season. Danny, Colleen, Ward, everyone is trying to find the purpose in this world. Who they need to be and I thought it was executed very well. They actually managed to make Ward a bit more relatable without changing his character too much. He's still a bit of an asshole, but sometimes you can really feel that he's trying to change and be a better person. Also, I really liked the relationship he has with Danny. It was really, it felt really real and it felt earned and never felt like it came out of nowhere. I really appreciate that. I also really loved Misty Knight in this, but even more, Kaolin Wing, who is pretty much the only reason I'm still invested in this series. She's amazing! Jessica Enwick is killing it. Her performance is so good, her character is so likable and her duo with Misty Knight was really nice to watch. I've seen people demand a series about the two of them and I actually agree. Kaolin is my favorite character in Iron Fist and Misty Knight was at her best here, so it works for me. Do it! Also, Cole just call them Nightwing. It works. <laughs> the biggest surprise to me, however, was Alicia Eve as Mary Walker. I'm not familiar with her character from the comics, but holy shit, she was so badass. So she's this assassin who gets hired by Joy to capture Danny Rand and bring him to Davos so he can steal his power. That's pretty much the plot of the whole season as well. Davos wants to steal, to steal the fist and Joy is mad at everyone for some reason. But more on that later. So Walker is an ex-soldier who really fights. She has a split personality. One called Mary, she's sweet and kind and doesn't fight. Her other personality is Walker, the badass female soldier who kicks so much ass here. I just loved her. I think it's because she wasn't necessarily a bad guy. It was just a job for her. At first, I thought they were going with for, they were going for a love triangle between Danny, Colleen, and Mary. Since we meet her for the first time as Mary, when we, feel we first see her, she meets Danny, and then they become like friends. So I was annoyed, but then I was pleasantly surprised, and I wanted to see more of this lady. Put her in every Netflix Marvel show if you want, I don't care. Actually, now that I think of it, she should fit perfectly in a show like The Punisher. It wasn't all good though, I have some problems with Iron Fist Season 2. And one of my biggest issues was Joy. One of the worst characters ever written and hands down the worst character in the entire Marvel's Netflix series. This selfish bitch has no reason to be a bitch. She just woke up and decided she wanted to hurt everyone. Anytime she tried to explain her motivation, I never bought it. I can't get invested in her motivation enough to even care. At the end, she annoys you and actually, she took me out of the series a few times. So let me get this straight. She's mad at Danny for coming back and for not telling her her father was alive even though Danny learned about it after he came back and it was her father and her brother who didn't want her to know because it was dangerous. She claims Danny took everything from her, that he destroyed everything. Bitch, what? You lost nothing. Literally nothing. You quit your job. You can have it back anytime you want. You still have money. When you came back, you wanted to get paid for what you did from the company. Danny was the first person to sign the papers without any hesitation. 
He has been nothing but nice to you. What exactly did he destroy? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Another thing that bugged me was that the plot was underwhelming and so simple and weak that between episode 8 and 10 it drags a little and you can feel it. They also tried to address the problem uh, people had with Conlon. The show was all about telling and never showing but this time we actually got some cool flashbacks and got a little bit more perception of what the life was like over there. He didn't do it all that well though because most of the time they are in rooms talking and Conlon never feels like anything special except a prison in Siberia or some shit. But it probably has something to do with the budget so I won't hold that against them. The ending was extremely confusing but my guess is that they are trying to set something up for a third season and I can't wait to see what's next. At the end, Iron Fist Season 2 was miles better than Season 1, which was like a 6 out of 10 for me. Season 2 fixed Danny Rand, gave us kick-ass female characters, relatable subplots and an exciting finale. All I can say is, you need to go watch Iron Fist Season 2, so go watch it. Mm -hmm.